how the journal entries would seem. Again, just like dividends, cash dividends, there are three dates to this, declaration date, and also date of record, and then payment date. So again, for um, data record, we don't do anything. And for stock dividends, declaration day, we also don't do anything. Okay, so for stock dividends, it's actually relatively easier. We only have one entry, distribution date. We would journalize this. Okay, so you see the left side is the same as cash dividend. We reduce retained earnings. Right side, it's not dividends payable, but it's directly common stock because this is a thing that's going out to shareholders' hands. Okay, meaning after this journal entry, if you are the shareholder, I'm the company board of directors that's giving away this, you'll be receiving common shares after this. So the common shares, you can also sell it to the market to get cash back, or you can keep it later on if the market price goes up, and then later on sell it. So it's really up to shareholders what to do with this, with the, this reward. So it's not a cash immediately, but you can also sell it to the market to get cash back. It's up to shareholders. Okay, so this is an example that company is issuing two million shares out there. Uh, out to the company has readily issued two million shares, and now they are trying to. I'm sorry, company are issuing two million shares to the shareholders as a dividend to them, and the par value is a dollar. Um, earlier, that's the part outstanding, and this five percent is the additional dividends that they are giving to shareholders now as a gift. So it's 5% of the 2 million shares that they earlier issued, that's earlier out there. So you see this part here, 2 million times 5% is the stock dividend rate, $1 is the part value. Now the upper part that I underlined there, $50 market value is the current market price that's trading. So the difference is 49 goes into paid in capital in excess of par. So again, this is a premium account for issuing stock. Whenever a company issues stock, regardless of whether it's directly collecting cash or as a gift to shareholder, we always consider the differences between market price and par value. The difference is the premium goes into paid in capital and excess of par. So this is a case for small stock dividend. Whenever companies give out dividends, there's two cases, small stock dividend and large stock dividend. Generally speaking, any percentage of stock that we give out below 20% or 25, you usually won't see any dollar amount between the two. Company either has a cutoff point below 20% or below 25%. They're all considered small stock percentage of dividends. Okay, so for small stock dividends case, we would compare the differences between market price and face value, consider premium for this case. For large stock, we have a different approach. <clears throat> okay, so again, for this small stock dividend case, there originally was 2 million shares outstanding. We're issuing 5% of stock dividend, 5% of the original issued number. So 5% is considered lower than 20%, so consider small stock dividend. We would consider any premium in this case, market price, um, the differences between market price and face value. Another case of large stock dividend, left hand side is still retained earnings, right hand side we don't consider any premium for large stock dividend. Okay, large stock dividend, any additional gift of stock gave to shareholders above 20%, 20 to 25% bracket above this dollar amount. If you see the stock dividend is 30% or 40%, it's considered large stock dividend. So in this case, the 50% times 2 million shares or 21 uh, 100,000 shares in this case times the face value would all together be um, recorded under retained earnings and common stock. 
So if you compare this journal entry with the earlier one, we don't consider a premium for large stock dividend case. The reason why this is, is because again, go, going back to earlier, the motivation, if there's more stock out there, this oftentimes, this large stock dividend case, meaning that companies is issuing 50% of what they originally had, meaning 1,000 shares, if you issue 50%, that means we're issuing 500 more shares. So this significant number of shares out there would likely to reduce the market price a lot more than compared to small stock dividend case. Okay, so in this case here, we don't know where the market price will be. It often and very likely will reduce to a very low price later on after this entry. So we just use the par value and we don't consider market value at all. Okay, so earlier we were considering $50 of market value when we issue small stock. For large stock, we just use whatever is the par value because we don't know later on whether market price will be significantly below a certain amount. It's very hard to measure. Okay, because this is a significant number of stock dividend gave out to shareholders. So market value is used for small stock dividend, par value is used for